Various studies have shown the typical American diet does not look like this, and it's deficient in fruits, vegetables, and many other nutrients that are good for us. Now doctors are looking at food as a way to treat pain. We've been using anti-inflammatories to treat pain for 50, 100 years, and that's very uh, commonplace. But now there's more and more studies looking at the use of food to alter the body's inflammatory response. And it's those kind of studies that are helping us learn alternative ways to treat pain. Mercy Medical Center, Dr. David Main says certain foods can almost change the biochemical arena of the body and decrease chronic inflammation. Some of the studies uh, show changes in as early as six to 12 weeks, but they're all very early. And it's such a benign change. It's easy to make this change. We know it can't hurt you. Mercy Medical Center dietitian Kelly O'Connor says making better food choices is not only good for an overall healthy lifestyle, but to certain foods may help with the inflammation and pain management. Things that generally are high in antioxidants have an anti-inflammatory value. So foods that we're saying are healthy in general anyway. Things like soy, fresh fruit, and vegetables. It's pineapples, red grapes, pink grapefruit, uh, green vegetables, walnuts, um, some of the fish that are high in omega-3, like salmon, herring. All of those foods are thought to have some positive anti-inflammatory value. 